Hello everyone, me Phone 4 here. Welcome to another Stanley Cup Playoffs and this is day two of the second round of the Stanley Cup Playoffs in EA Sports. Glad you have us with us here today as right now we have the first matchup to get started. We have the New York Rangers and they have already won the last game against the New Jersey Devils. But in the real game, the Devils beat the Rangers in Game 7. If you're a fan of Jersey Devils, congratulations for your team. You're moving on to the next round. But this is a hard matchup they're facing against, and it's the Carolina Hurricanes. We know that the Devils are getting a little bit off the slight of the angle here for first and second game. But as for the New York Rangers, they're about to rematch again since the last postseason. It was a great start for the Carolina Hurricanes. They definitely made a great win in the first game. But let's find out. How will they do in the first game for this postseason? Now, with your starting lineups here, as a superstar X Factor players, we start off with the, the Kerry Canes of Carolina. Sebastian Nago has a third eye making his preferable passer with a clean look, finding an open room, and get a goal in. It's hard enough to find a third eye when you're looking right towards the offense of the run, but that was all he was looking for. The second of the X Factor players is Jacob Slavin. He has a defensive rushing towards the offense zone. This one calls for a shutdown. Not for shutting down NHL, but a shutdown means a jailbreaker went up on the rush to try to help them pay him off and shut their team down on their visiting side. Not very a close one you calling for it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. And anyway, on the Rangers side, we have another cup to call for, our Artemi Panarin. He makes it snappy ability. He's got an early snapshot in stride. Got a good one to keep over here and try to make a snapshot and put a deflection in. Then Adam Fox, from the take to take feed zone, early pass within the vision. Really turned to be a long pass, then you know it. Then Igor Shesterkin has a butterfly effect. He's got a great putting up a wild save runs to put up an elite defensive setup and putting it right across the offense. Patrick Kane has a puck on a string. After playing with the Chicago Blackhawks, he's down with the New York Rangers. It's a definitely a setup that he was picking up a handling in front of it for the, for the new part of the team to start off with the career during the season. But it may be difficult to find out for Patrick Kane if he can get this through. Ben Mika's advantage out with the magnetic shots here. It's a reposition. I will be getting it enough to make a call for it. If the magnetic is going to be a tough one to keep that one out of here, the puck pick up, probably not really that much anyway. But, you know, it's just uh, tough. everyone's going to get. And finally, Valdemir Tarasenko. It's a snipe, an Ely puck settling after playing with the St. Louis Blues. All right, I did guess that is enough is enough. Let's head on down to PNC Arena. Paintbrush is standing by. Along with Fan in his center ice, his test tube. I'll be back with a post-game show for the three star players of the game. Enjoy the game and here we go. Hello everyone! Paintbrush here along with Fan and Test Tube. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. First game in day number two, about to begin. The puck is dropped and we are all set here at PNC Arena in North Carolina. The courtesy line is being here as follow. We have his Anderson. And across the other hand, we have his, have his e Borsha Circuit. The starting goaltenders in game one. Now the better this player we are calling for, Valdir Talisenko. He has a snipe of his goal. He keeps it right towards him with the puck of a lining of this setup. The only way is to make that one solution. He gets that one all into a good working on, on the shot scores to keep him from a deck. Sebastian Ajo has a third eye ability to take right from that lineup to take over with the old man in possession. He looks for his third eye of his opponent team. And then when he gets his clear vision, he tries to see it help him out and then try to regain the proof group puck as long as he can. These two are great ones. I'll be watching on here and see who has the better possession to keep the play inbounding. Back to you guys. Jacob Slavin has a one of the shutdown ability of this game. 
He's definitely one of the better players of this one that has gone with the defense run to keep on his momentum. He'll be watching up here right towards the defender to play against the New York Rangers since the last postseason. But this time, he'll find out if he can shut him down. Great stop of the play here by the defender, and now Fox has a buck here. Deep pass pass over to Zabanajad. Gives it up into the right zone and finds Kreider. Good save by Anderson. He's got a good saving in this game, you know. This is a very tough one to make the offense out of him. It's really more comfortable look. Right now, the setup is being changed here for the faceoff on its way. Still no score this game. Gerchuk wins it. Miller shot went wide. Puck clears out, escapes the zone into the Rangers territory. Trevor will take the puck here right towards the offense. He flings it over to Panarin. Artemi Panarin in the right wing looking for help. Stick lifted. Great stop by Skedgy. That stop made here by Anderson. Spalling for the loose puck here. Recovered again here by Skedgy. Skedgy puck over to Kaptemi. Kaptemi has got the puck down over to Dekas. Shot stop by the chest save by Sisterkin. Breezy over with the backhand. Truba has the puck here now recovering the puck. It's their 25th anniversary for the Carolina Hurricanes. They've never been seen to play in what they did. This is what's the toughest one that everyone really calls for. How the Canes do for their 25th seasons in a row. Yeah, definitely to say about them, they are really that tough playing with the other teams. They never seen that coming here because they have really are definitely one of the bestest teams here. Since after the 2005 win of the Stanley Cup, it might have been just turning out one of the better plays this game. I could say the Hurricanes are a very strong team, since they definitely did get here for the part of the Hurricane that was looking for a storm, to try to reach out for you for the goals. Hopefully on that occasion, the storm could be in between the ball and a Hurricane, like both two on a collision weather storm watch. Might be in what happening with the breaking news that it might be another way that the state might be happening here in one of the countries. Well, hopefully at that point, they might be carrying it out here as long as they wish. Here's Skeggy towards the right hand of the wing. We'll try to find another opponent player. Looking in the middle! Stop here by Igor Shosturkin and Kikako. Gives it over to Lafreniere, back to Truba. Truba swinging it back over again to Lafreniere. Lafreniere will fire it and pop around. Keeping it over in for the Allied section for a loose puck paddle. Lafreniere shot, stopped by Anderson. Stepan will grab the puck here in the offense zone. We'll now swing it over again to Nozin. Nozin inside, so Stuck can save. 13 39 left to go in the first period. It's still scoreless. We are calling for Mika Sabanajad. He has one of his better moments to make a magnetic ability to try to go with the puck right toward the blade to the stick. He could definitely also make a, a deflection score right towards the back. This offense is really turning to be like he needs it but to get this one in. Magnetic is where it comes there to make a save. Stop made by Anderson. Kreider right towards the left. And Anderson will cover up the puck here with only 13 out 2 to go. Since we remember the last time here for the Stanley Cups, they only had won, won once for the 2005-06 season of the Stanley Cup Finals. And this was happened here before, after they beat against the other team of the Edmonton Oilers. This was a tough one. A Canadian versus the, versus the USA team was a tough one to make the release. And the same thing we, that we have saw two years ago, the start of a season here for the new season that uh, have already begun, was the Canadian and the Bolts. They were a tough team that they were never seen yet before like they had it before. Yeah, definitely have to say about this one. They were really a good offense to try to pick up the run. But especially on that one occasionally, I know that the Edmonton Oilers are very that good. Their team was definitely one of the second appearance that they would happen here since many years ago here since 2002. It was definitely the better way that everyone was thinking. All players could say that the Edmonton Oilers are very the top popular team here, better than the Canadians, but Montreal Canadiens are definitely 
like overrated with the teams since back in the early ages. But now with the Carolina Hurricanes, they're saying that we had enough of them. We want to take them down and we want to go for the win. That's what Stephen is saying. They never won a Stanley Cup Finals of the champions since many years before 2005 and 6 season has started. But then after that, they had that win. They were really surprised. They really enjoyed it. And Anderson will come over with the puck. We'll clear it out. Get ready for the faceoff. Now their teams are ready to take the faceoff. Nearing the midway period, still scoreless. Here's Snyder with the puck. And Hot save by Anderson. The Hurricanes are back in the offense zone. And Hot saved the wave here by Sisterkin. Trojek's got the puck here. Now swing it over to Artemi Panarin. Mikula over right towards the center to Kane. Kane looking towards the offense. Panarin! And a shot stopped made by Anderson. We're past the midway period. No score yet in the first period. Now the both play teams are gliding up here, ready for the face up into the offense wing. Now Katemi will take the winning face off. And near seconds with the puck, now finds Katemi. Katemi right towards the middle, passing in the blue line. Shot up, had saved by Shesterkin. Katemi battling for the loose puck. Rebound in front! Mekis did not have the right timing! We're past save here with a quick check. Lavenier has got the puck here right towards the right. In his own, Mekis finds Slavin. Slavin over again to Teravainen. Flings the puck right around the wall. And Truba will take it over here for the wing. Here's Skeetal. Stick lift it, Katemi. Rebound the puck, saved me by Shesterkin. No goals yet for the Carolina Canes. They have just didn't get the right timing right. Well, it's easy to say, they gotta get this one straight. Because this should not be the only case that everyone was gonna have to go for. And they're ready for the faceoff, getting ready for the puck drop. Fast drop, that save here by Shesterkin. Martin Hook over the other hand. Going to score the backhand, and Truba will try to take it away. He finds Moody. Moody right towards the wing. Fires a shot. How to save way by Anderson. Over it again to Miller. Miller goes over to Truba. Fires away and it's deflected off the skater. And now it's Martin up right towards the corner of the wall. Skedgy races it over to Stahl. Here's Stahl. Inside his own. Leaving the puck alone. It's fast has one. Jesper Fast lost the puck. Keandre Miller has the puck, will fire it around the net in the Carolina zone. Martin up right over again to Stahl. Only 6-10 to go in the first period, still scoreless in this game. Now here's Moto, he will have the puck. New York in the offense zone. 1-1, one -on -one. shot, stop by Anderson with a huge save. They're really saving it because Anderson was really that wild keeping the puck inbounding. They're really not good for him to try to like keep him right in front of deck. They just wanted to make sure they don't get away with that. And right now the win puts up here with Skeggy now over to Pets. Pets giving it over to Aho. Aho right towards the center of the zone. Pass to the Arvis. Pass to Skechikov. Shoots! Fires! Score! Sebastian Aho with the first goal in round number two. And they got their team up by one. Easy pass here for Sechikov as he gives it off over to Sebastian Aho. But assist was putting up here one of the best plays in this game because after that one in game one, he had that releasement earlier and made that one a great save. I'll be watching here on Sebastian Aho as he will pick up another goal to help the team during the playoffs. Back to you all. Adam Fox looking it over towards right around the net. Finding a pass. And right now, fucking a string, here comes Kane. Kane to Panera shot. Stop by Anderson. Anderson holds the puck here with under 435 left remaining in the first period. He's got a good start. Both centers are gliding in for the uh, faceoff attack coming up. And a Panera goes up with the team. Rangers win for the faceoff.
Gonka rebounds the puck here. Now over again to Adam Fox. Rolls to Lafreniere. Gonka releases one back to Fox. Fox swings to Gonka. Rolls it over again to Lindgren. Inside heel. Hank goes on to defender. Right behind the outside of a net. And got his fear with the puck. He's got his fear back to Jarvis. Carolina are on the attack. 2 on one opportunity. Short stop by Asia Sturkin. Rebound again here. That's a good stop again. Sebastian Ajo trying to recover the puck here. As right now, Kilo and the team are trying to keep it away. Got a share inside his own. Pass is broken up. Ajo with the puck. Varns Yaris. Yaris stick lifted. And right now, Ajo takes it over. The team mounting is turning out to be very that close call because they're looking for stick lifts. They need to keep him out of here for good. And they can't lose it in another player in this offense. If they're going to have to go back towards the offense to go with the run, they better do this one here, correct? This is what the hard one team has to go for. Third seed against the first seed. Here's Stepan. Mikula will take the puck over and Kako are the other way with under two minutes to go. Here's Kako. Shoot someone! We were in the front and not enough. Off the deflection out of the skater. And Milkola to Zabanajad. To Kako. Back to over again, Zabanajad in the corner. Stick lifted again. Trying to give it off to Zabanajad. Good stop, A. And Shasti picks up a rebounding puck. Here on the other side, Shasti. Shoots one. Rebounded again here by Milkola. We're under a minute to play in the first period. And Kreider will take the puck. Leads it open to Tarasenko. On a one on one break, Tara Vining grabs the puck. Now back to the offense side again over to the Burns. Here's Burns, passes over to Slavin. Slavin gives over to Tara Vining. Tara Vining to Kotemi. Ten seconds left to play in the first period. They gotta get it going and get it done. Kotemi keeps the puck alive. Three seconds to shoot. Left away. And Zabanajan will carry the puck to rebound it. And so the first period has come to an end. With a great rebounding of Sebastian Apo, he got a goal and got a one nothing start. Be right back for the second period after this. Period number two about to be underway here in Carolina. Let's give it a go. About to start. Here we go. And with the setup of this release bit, let's have the daily recap of the first period as Finn will be having a discussion of how they did. While their better play was in the offensive zone, they were really on a better route on the locating to give that one to run. Because the Carolina Kings are one of the bestest teams here, they definitely are one of the bestest part of the team that we're going for the front revenue lineup matchups of the rival team. They are really the top in the Metropolitan Division that were really turning out to be a close range. The eyesight was very that and followed. But in all that, mostly cased all of it with the team, they were really that tough. When they've been playing here for the most regular seasons of the game, they have so many uh, wins. And they have so many losses for the New York Rangers. And while the Hurricanes sometimes lose too. They sometimes can get over this and then try to stake them out of here. Just one by one. But hopefully on that one, they might be keeping an eye out to look over it again. And that why? Because Sebastian Aco and the team are definitely looking for another slap shots to get a goal counted. And he scores! There it's Senko! It's tied up! It looks like a Terrence Senko was definitely putting a C I on the vision here, seeking into the uh, on a on a stride. Terrence Senko was definitely putting up with a better look of his offense run. He had that one a great stop. With this moment, he just went right around Anderson to try to keep it from here. The outside of it was putting up a lot that harder than he did. I'll be watching Terrence Senko and keep an eye on him for right to the target line. Back to you all. Here's Trocek, and Fox has it now. Back outside is Katemi. We'll hold the puck here right now to Nekas. Terra scooping in the middle. Shoots to a run for the net, and it's stopped made here by Sturkin. Katemi over it again to Nekas. Had safe, Fox rebounds the puck. Now over it again to Benarin. 
And over to Kane. Kane looking in towards the offense finds Trocek. Trocek trying to look over it again. Rooks for Truba. Juice! And went right towards the wall and he went down on ice. Well, they've been shooken up already. He might be on a constant pain. It may be too tough for him. He might have been smacking his helmet already. And sometimes he was already got a little bruised up already. He's going to have to find someone else to try to replace him. Battle over. Here's Lafreniere. Lafreniere giving it over to Keandre Miller. Miller towards the offensive zone and the wing. Shoots one and fires it in. Silver dirt here by Anderson. Skudgy over it again. Here's Stahl right towards the offense zone. Gives the pass to Fast. Fast moving around the puck in offense. Looking over to Reinen. Kako regroups the puck now into the offense zone in the Canes territory. Takes a shot for the corner and stopped by Anderson. We'll hold the puck with 14.43 to go. 1 1 is your score. I have to look at Jacob Truba. It looks like he was a bull bang up already. That was a clean hit. The captain, he just couldn't get it over it. Right now, those two guys are heavy matches. We have Igor Shesterkin. Test two. Right now, Igor Shesterkin has a lot of a butterfly effect to take over from the offensive side. He's mostly was turning greatness. But this ultimately has turned out to be the one heavy mass smash skit you have to put up here for the, the players. But sometimes, however he does, the butterfly effect always worked for him. As for Igor Shesterkin, he's putting up a one big of a run. It's very tough to keep it over from the eye side of a bit of a zone for the puck. Just keep the butterfly and going up again. It's highs of the tank here in between of Shesterkin and Anderson. I'll be watching those two the goaltenders with a huge save. Back to you all. Got a sphere over to Yarvis, and now it rolling back in a neutral zone to face off into the offense zone. Smash down to the corner. Wow. On a brutal hit on that injury. Yeah, definitely you could say that one here. That's a lot of smash yet. Sabanajad, shot stop made by Anderson. I'll go right towards the corner. And Lafreniere will take it over. Now Tarasenko with the puck. Dion Svechikov taking it over and in and out. Now passes over again to Yarvis. Yarvis swoles over to Svechikov. Carolina on the attack. In a Rangers territory, Svechikov pass. Oh, no, stop by Sisterkin. We'll hold the play with 12.06 to go in the second period. Looking very comfortable on the run in the second round. Yeah, definitely true. I have no complaints about this one. This is very a tough matchup that everybody's been looking for. Yeah, surely they do. And Shotzi will win the faceoff. Step on with the puck. Move around to Sorkin. Can't get it up to go in. And I went wide. Schneider passes over to Kreider. Kreider taking it over in the offense zone into the wing. Kreider looks and stop goes up by Anderson. Nose in over again to Slavin. Slavin still looking over and I'll find Shatstein. Pass to Burns over again to Nozen. Nozen fires the puck around the net. Snyder will take the puck here now over to Kreider. Kreider still looking for an offense run to pick up the motion attack. Looks to Sabanajad. Anderson stop made with the save with only 10.41 remaining in a second. Both players are set, ready to take the face off in the glider zone. It's a tie game, 1-1, looking for a next lead in the second period. Carolina wins the face off, and Burns will take it from the corner. Now looks to Martinuk. He goes to the right to the center. Save it shot! Rebound the puck! What a big save made by Igor Sisterkin! Snyder over again to VZ. VZ smashes down right toward the wall. And VZ wanted to make a smash out of it with the hurricane win. That, that's a lot of damage. Schneider right towards the corner of the wing. Pass to Goodrow. Stick lived it, and right now Schneider keeps the puck alive. Plot shot blocked. Jesper Fast got a piece of it. Now he's in the corner. Can't find anybody. 
Fast still recovers the puck. Lead in the zone. Puck keeps it alive. Glove saved by Shesterkin and they will hold it with under nine minutes to go in the second period. Near the late going to this period. They are still tied up, trying to look for a one-point lead in the game in game one of the second round. Here's Skeggy towards the corner, finds Teravainen. Kennedy will try to take the puck here for the wing to Teravainen. Shot the neck is shot! Shesterkin made a big save out of here with a one-time goal and will not be enough to make the goal. They will try doing it again with another face-off in the attack. They are still heavy on the game. Trocek wins the face-off. Fox right towards the center and now will swing it over in a neutral zone. In the Carolina zone, Skeggy. Trocek trying to keep the puck out of here. Here's Fox. Pass the case, shot, and save by Anderson. With under eight minutes to go, they're still trying to keep up the lead up high. Now they're doing another face-off in attack. If you're looking to get tickets here, unfortunately for Gerald W. Lynch Theater, tickets are sold out. Unfortunately, that is all we have. There's nothing to make the comments out of it. And hopefully, you will have to see if you return next year for the experience of the BFDI in Anime Sandy. But no worries, we still have tickets left here in LA, so if you want to get to us now, go ahead. The website's on at www.com. Sorry, I'm a little switch up on my mess in this one. AnimeSandy.com slash tickets. And you can be the next one here. If you have your tickets, well, good thing you have already bought one, and you will hopefully enjoy your show to meet your creators and the new series of the season. Yeah, definitely going to enjoy that one, Garen. So have fun. With Adam Fox, he has a tape-to-tape -tape feed of his own ability with the offensive strength. He finds a good, accurate passing to find the open players in the offense. His motion is turning out to be one of a better play than he has to give over us. He has a motion drive and has that one with the passing and a deep zone ability. He will try to keep it open as long as he can. Under siege and Sisterkin will try to carry the puck to the zone near the goal line. That was pretty close. I gotta say this one, Gear Paintbrush. Because this is a top line we call for. Algo wins the faceoff and now back to Yarvis. Hino has the puck here with under six minutes to go in the second period. Gets a little banged up in the corner. Spencer Cobb has one. On the breakaway train! The leader scores! It's Spencer Cobb! Look at a lead by one! That's what you wanted to do because if you have the breakaway chance, you just gotta keep on going. Two to one is where we left off, and Svechnikov got a first goal in the second round in game one. Now he has four goals in this game, and now he is moving up to pursue this way right towards five goals in the playoffs of the postseason. He's looking very well uncomfortable and trying to keep on heavy. Now he's ready for another faceoff to keep on going. And Shasti will win the faceoff. Knows it has the puck here right towards the way. Gets bumped up. Step on! Puck pass broken, broken up here and Miller will try to keep it over. Here in the offense run right towards the wing. Burns will try to deliver the puck here after a takeaway. Try to leave it over to Slavin. Now gives over to Step on. Step on! Oh boy, that little bunch out is being a punchy out like this was a heavy hit. What a smackdown out there! <laughs> wow! Got it easier with that one here with the physical contact. Fast over it again to Slavin. Slavin towards the other way. Gets bumped down as the puck goes right around the net. And Miller will try to carry over. Marinick will try to take the puck. Going for a two. Just circuit saved it again. 341 left to remain. It's still a 2-1 game. Now they're ready to do another offense run to pick up the run. Still a 2-1 game. Carolina is one of the biggest teams and has already a number one seed to bring it on in the Metropolitan Division. And now this is the Metropolitan Finals to lead to advance over 
into the Eastern Conference Finals. And uh, there might be one way that might be looking for a Atlantic versus the Metropolitan Division. Yeah, there might be one way, because that is definitely the hard ones for Atlantic and Metropolitan matchup to try to lead it over with the higher statistic runs. One of the, one of the players that might be going for higher schools, other players might need to just try to step it up a little more. They might be saying that, we've got this, we can do it, we will never try to quit here, we can keep it going. Here's Kane in the middle after Trocek went down. The shot, glove saved by Anderson. It's going to hold the whistle here with only 2.09 to go in the second period. Now both slider eaters are ready to take the face off into the offensive wing. And a pass is about to be taking over and we are underway. To resume the play, we have a serve line over to Pest. Pass to Nekis. Nekis in the middle. Pass broken up and Panera will try to take it over to Trocek. Trocek fires the backhand right around the net. Skeji will try to keep it over. In the inbounding, it's sketchy. Pass broken up. Trojak! Oh, Anderson save! Got a little piece of this one. Trying to cover it up to, and get ready for another faceoff. They are still looking for attackers out there. Especially with the Canes, they still have a 2 1 lead. And we're almost down to a minute to play in a second period. Stop made by, by Anderson. Hedo. Trying to recover the puck here, and Lafreniere has one. Now Fox, dish over to Kako. Kako back to Fox. Over to Lafreniere. Lafreniere looking over. Back over again to Kako, shot. Stop the pad, save. Dion. Over again to Nekis. In and on the attack, 101. Right to Teravine. To shoot it, and Shesterkin made a big save. Very easy on that play because the Sturkin is just holding the puck right ahead. They're just going to keep on trapping it. Sebastian Avo wins the faceoff. Dion over to Gottesphere. With the Bosmir Avo and Lundgren taking it over with the rebound and now back in the neutral faceoff zone. Looks like this is going to be a wild night. What a play by Smetchikov. Got their team up by one. And we're hoping to get another one. Be back after this. It's about that time. Third period on the line. Here we go. And it's been a tremendous first night here in game number one of the second round in day number two. This tough team can definitely say it's been a one heck of a moment since the last postseason was this one. We enjoyed it so far, and we definitely really loved the Rangers and the Caracanes on the attack battling in Carolina. Yeah, this is one of the best plays I really enjoyed. And since to that one back here point, I always know that we always really enjoyed that most players definitely got a great stack of ability to try to keep them out of here, and this was the best part of it. We love seeing it. A lot of hits in this game, a lot of goals, and a lot of taking over. Fast breaks were very impossible to get there. Unless you're all alone by yourself, and you just have to do it right on your own. That was a great stop. And I really enjoyed it too, because we already know that this was an amazing matchup. The penalty call is on Brent Burns. This will be called for interference. And right now, New York are on the power play for tonight in game one. New York Rangers are on the power play. Our Timmy Panarin has gotten a make it snappy ability, and this is what everyone was thinking. When he goes with a snappy shot, he could try to take it over and then try to take him out with the slap shot of his goal to snap that shot and then take it right towards the deck. And the other players are back right around the deck. It's a hard one to maintain in the power play if he's in here for tonight. I'll be watching on him during the game. Anderson, big save! We'll hold it with 18 minutes to go in the third and we'll keep an eye on here right across the players. 
Now they're ready for the face-off here with a minute and 27 to go for the Rangers power play. Here's Lafayette, a shot, and glove save by Anderson. With under 18 minutes, they're still getting a goal right out of it to tie it up. It's not about having fun about that. It's all I want to do. You just want to play more, more aggressive, and then it's about about having fun here if you're at the game. Just got to keep that one in going, and then definitely you'll enjoy it. Slavin will try to fire it out. Panarin in the, zone, in the neutral zone. Fox right towards the wing. Finds Kako. The stop it. And Anderson, what a great snatch it on a puck. And it goes with the stop it whistle bound. Now they're ready to do it on a face off attack. It's still a 2 1 lead. Ago wins the face off. Gets bumbled up and to Banajad. Back to Panarin over to Fox. Fox shot. Hits the mask and it goes right to Anderson to try to pick up a huge save. That's a tough one. Now they're doing another face off. Still a 2 1 game. Looking for a tie or take it out. Here's Kane to Panarin. Make it snappy. Unsuccessful for Panarin to try to go right around the goaltender. They keep it out of range. Now Fox has it back. Disadvantage out over again to Kane. Kane in his own. Corner to loose. Stop it. Big, big bounding. Anderson with a huge stop. And we'll hold the puck in whistle and bounding before just 16.46 to go. Still keeping a lot of pressure out there. Still a heavy one. They got to try to keep it going. Ago wins the puck. Brent Burns ready to go. Back to Kane. The main advantage is over for the Rangers and the power play. Keep them out of here, and they're doing really well with defenders. They're an excellent run. They're doing a great job here to keep the puck out of here. But they're a little trouble on the, on the gaming in this inbounding. They're trying to get, like, get it out of here. It's not very easy what everybody has to go for, but all players have to keep them out of the range sight. It's very that tough that everyone has to keep out, out, out of the range, not just the focusing on the players. Because of this, it really has to keep this player out of the net a whole time. We don't want that, because this needs to get a good stop to play in bounding. Bounding for the loose puck in K, back to Savannah Jack, block the shot. Conkenemy right towards the wing, get a little bumble up here by Fox. Panera back over again to Fox. Over to Kane. Here's Kane. 2 on 1 attack. Finds Kreider. Kreider towards the middle. Shoots one. Gets to flunk it off the player and stall with the puck. On a 1 on 1 attack. Shoots one. And Shesterkin with a big save. Panera over again to Kako. Kako right towards the wing in the offense zone to pick up the run. Stopping a mate here by Anderson. Sketchy over again. Rebounding again. Sketchy to Fast. Fast on the run. Trying to go with a quick feet. Marnuk and deflect it again. Stopped by Sisterkin with a pat save. Almost going right, right up to the toe. Rebounding the puck is stall over it again to Marnuk. And Kako takes it over. Finds Fox. Two on one opportunity. To Kako. Prudence takes it over. Now over to Yarvis. Carolina and his own in the New York Territory. Shot saved me by Sisterkin. He's really well trying to like try to stay out of here. That puck inbounding was a very tough one to try to put in bounding. But I have no regrets to Sisterkin. They just gotta like say like keep saving the puck. Don't try to keep him out of here. They've got to go with the truth. They need to keep that out of here for good, and they want to keep it going. Here's Sebastiano, and Truba has to puck it back. Now Morty. Morty has to puck over to VZ. VZ to Cito. Save me by Anderson. Burns with the puck. Now racing over it again to Slavin. Slavin giving it over again. Kotemi. Gets squeezed up for a neutral faceoff zone, and Miller right over it again to Mote. Mote with the with the flame. 
Now Ago with the puck here. Now over again to Burns. Still looking for a playing offense run to keep the ahead of the game. Shoots for the net. Stop again by the goaltender with Jarvis. One timer. Oh, got a little squeeze off of here. Just Sturking still keeps it out. Nosing still trying to battle it on Miller. Nosing still has one. Slavin deflected again. And Mole has one. Stay big by Shusterkin. Moves it quickly over to Jimmy BZ. Plays up the glass right around the net. And Burns will have it over right to the corner. Here's Nozem with the puck. In Carolina zone to the New York zone around the net. And Miller will grab a rebound. Good throw. And pass to Truba. Trying to put a stick lit, but they will not get there to make a bigger weight chain. VZ with the puck. Moving around the man. Backhander. What a big stop. Slavin with the puck here. Now over again to Nozen. Nozen still uh, struggling on this game. And Shatsi over again to back. And Amoto into Kreider. In the Kane territory. D line. Get a little bumbled up here. And Slavin to Katemi. Kokenemi right towards the puck to Slavin. Slavin in the way by the step on. Shot glove save by Sisterkin. Holding with 7.46 to go in the third period. Then they're going to get a clean sheet of whistle on the ice. Ready for the face off. New York wins the faceoff as Mikola will try to rebound the puck over to Kreider. Now in the offensive territory in the Canes. Kreider looking it over. Go over to backhand. Bring away chain. Denied by the goaltender. Kakenemi, Terravine, still trying to keep it out to tight. Kakenemi right towards the wing, trying to keep him alive. Stacey Denekis. Save me again, get by the chest of the pad save from the Sisterkin. Kreider lost the puck handling motion, didn't have the right moment to do it. Well, it looks like he was going to take the, play, uh, the puck in handle switch. He was trying to handle with the puck, trying to move around it, and then try to like, go from here and then go right towards the net. He wants to do it in his time, but it's too hard to try to put it right towards the goaltender in front of it. If you're going to try to handle with the puck, do the right way. Now here's Lekas towards the wing. Find an open man on him. Goes down and he went bubbled up and he's down and he's hurt. Uh-oh, that's not good for Lekas. It looks like this is a hard one that no one should ever do. Stop the bad save by Anderson. Lay over the leg grade. And Fast will deliver with the puck in the Canes territory. Now we're right to the other side. Sketchy with the puck. Under five minutes left to play in the third period. Sketchy looking towards the wing. Pinera back to Kane. Trocek will have the puck here in a, in a neutral faceoff zone. Gets bumbled up. Leaving over in the offense zone is Sketchy. Try to bubble around. Try to Kane and stop that wave for that deflecting off the skater. Kane shot. That goes off the goaltender. Lease in the back. Sketchy to Martinuk. Martinuk on a fast break on a one on one of man attack. Close out the gap and Snyder will take it over. Snyder with the puck now rolling over to Trocek. Trojan trying to move it to Tarasenko. Quarter shot. Stop me. Anderson will hold it with under three. Oh, five remaining. Getting ready for the faceoff. That necklace was slammed down. Wow, he was hurt. That brutal was painful and he just couldn't believe it. We'll keep an eyes on here on Nekis, but right now we have a winner. Sebastian Alvo has a third eye position to make that territory and more transition to keep the offense run in a stabilizing zone. He's doing really well doing with this passing. And for Sebastian Alvo, he will keep an eye on the players with an open man advantage towards the net. Tarasenko back to the Lindgren. Anderson with a big save. 
all the chip fan favorite of the Anderson going loud and proud. Coming up for the next game, we've got the Kraken, and they are playing against the Los Angeles Kings at Crypto.com Arena. The battle in between the Pacific Coast, and Ajo will try to keep it over outside of the net. Now again, Heedle to Lindgren, over to Lafreniere. Lafreniere moving it over with the puck. Stopping the big save here, and Lafreniere to get over to Heedle. That can't stop me by Anderson. Lafreniere over it again to Fox. Trying to reset it. That goes off the twig. Ago with the puck and finds Stretchikov. Stretchikov will try to keep him over. Goes down. Rebound the puck again. Neck is towards the wing. Goes around the net. Just a minute to play in the third. And Kalkemini. Lost the puck of that one at Slavin. Blocked the shot. Miller back to Nekis. Nekis to Katemi. To Bird on the outside. Slap shot. Stop me by Sturkin. Kreider will try to leave it out of here. May the edge on. She's Igor Sturkin to the bench. Teravine will try to recover the puck. Try to keep it alive. Teravine over again to Katemi. And he will take the shot. Scores! That ends the game for the first, and the Canes have dug it up. This is where the first game comes with the win, just like the last postseason. Now they have a 3-1 lead over the New York Rangers. Been a battling along here. After regular season, been a postseason. Here's Trouba with the puck. Now over again to Patrick Kane. Wow! Bumble down! And Sketchy with the puck now over it again in the neutral zone to find Ajo. And he scores! That's two in a row for Sebastian Ajo. Great pass here. Well, as you say now, Sebastian Ajo lights up. That's the end of the first game. We'll be back for more. Ajo wins the faceoff. Fans are on their feet. And glove save by the circuit. Covering the puck with 11 seconds to go in the third period as the time is winding down. Now they're ready to take the face off here in the offense zone and are about to get ready for the next face off win. And right now, Trocek wins and Truba will take it over. Time is almost up. K and boom out! And that will end the first game of the night. The Hurricanes beat the New York Rangers with a 4-1 lead over the Rangers with a great score of Igor Sturkin. Very good run. Then that's what they call it, a winning start for the Hurricane win. Well, as we all said, this is what everyone happens. The huge domino effect. <laughs> oh, wow. I like it when they all come down with falling apart. And the Hurricanes make a great win. That's how you win here for the first game. <laughs> yeah, definitely true. <laughs> I know. Really good. Well, as we said right now, paper us along with Ben and Test Tube. Thanks for joining with us. See you next time. And this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for watching and have a great night. What a win for the Canes, and now it's time for three-star players of the game. Your first star goes out over with a huge shot. Snatchikov, a breakaway chain. Just like he does, fast wheels and move around a goaltender. That's a goal to put out a release bin up by one. The second star goes to Igor Shosturkin with 42 saves, with a great moment with a two-time stop. And your first star player goes out to Frederick Anderson. 57 saves in this game, turned out one of the best to try to keep him over. And with that one, here's how they did with the total shots here in the statistic games in game number one. 58 total shots on goal for New York and 46 for Carolina. 28 hits and 13 for Carolina. 709 and 524 time on attack rush turned to be a little higher slot than the Carolina does. 94% over 88 was the New York Rangers did a really well successful run. But the power play was turned out to be a penalty kill for Carolina. No power play goals and they never tied this game. They just keep it up here empty. 
and they had a little bad start to keep him out of here. So that being said, only 28 face-off wins for Carolina and 16 for New York Rangers. So that settles up here for the first game in day number two. Rangers got disappointed and they'll have to try to revenge it if they can do it again. Carolina has a 1-0 lead series over New York. We'll be back. We'll be back with another game of the Stanley Cup playoffs in the second round. Right now, the next game coming up will be the next one to keep your eyes on. The first time ever, Seattle Kraken play against the first time of the postseason in the second round, the Los Angeles Kings. This is me, Phone, and peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL of the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Thank you so much for tuning in, and good night in Carolina Winning Storm. Until we meet again. Bye-bye, everyone. If you don't.